Hello there, welcome to my video. Okay, um, this is my first time doing a tutorial video, so I hope you can bear with me because I may be talking a little bit faster or slower, and it might not really suit to your pace or to your liking. So, um, okay, this is After Effects because I basically we have a lot of videos in YouTube. Um, on After Effects, but most of them they are uh, using Windows. But After Effects for Max, they are not so much different. Okay, it's just the same thing here. The interface are pretty much the same. It's just that uh, it's in Mac. Okay. Okay. So um, we have Project Panel here, and this is the Composition Panel. And this is the timeline panel. So these are the three most important panels. And the other one being time control. So you must have these four panels in your After Effects. Okay. For other panels, you can add and remove to your liking. Like this is the phone panels. These are the um, paragraph panels. And this is the audio and color info. So basically, you can add or delete using this uh, when you click on the window and you can choose whichever effects that you want, okay? And uh, to start with a video project, um, you should select composition, okay? New composition. So click new composition, then you can see this uh, window. Okay, so you can click uh, preset. You can choose whatever, whatever format that you want. Okay, like um, white screen. Okay, even web video or web banner, you can choose them. And then you can choose uh, the width and height. Okay, uh, these are basically the format for this one. Okay, for for DVC Pro. Okay. And then uh, we have uh, pixel aspiration ratio. Okay. And then frame rate for effective uh, for more smooth flowing a video, you need to choose more than 24 frames per second. Resolution full or half or whatever you want you want to set. And then uh, the duration, okay. Um, you can choose whatever duration you want, okay. Like me, I'm putting here 20 seconds. If you want it more, 30 seconds or 1 minute or 5 minutes or forever, okay. So you just put it here, okay. And then click OK. If you are an advanced user, you can click the advanced and you can change the setting, okay. So click OK. So you have the basically the canvas for your video. Okay. Please bear in mind composition. There are you can edit uh, these composition settings <coughs> using. <coughs> uh, you can edit back using the composition settings here, and um, you can also change the background color, what color you want. Okay, like red or blue let me see blue so you can see blue here okay but I need but I prefer to have black okay so it's basically the same thing and we don't okay okay uh, next thing next up is uh, you need to import file okay I'm importing file here okay so you can import whatever files you have in your uh, Mac like here I have uh, this picture of flowers. I think all, all Macs have these pictures, right? So I choose this one. Okay. Okay. So if you want all the material, you put all the materials here, you import it, you just double click here. Okay. And you just import whatever things you, you want to be inserted in your videos. So like here I have my picture of uh, flowers. Okay. So if you want this flower to be reflected in the video, you need to put 
it, you need to drag it to the timeline okay okay so from here you can adjust how big you want the 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 flower is okay okay and then click anywhere outside the box yeah, to release it so there is a layer of picture here okay there's a layer of picture picture here you can adjust the color of the bar this is the bar the duration bar that means for the whole 20 seconds of this video it will this picture will appear okay so you can choose whatever color you want for this uh, layer okay you can shorten it maybe like for the first uh, four second okay so that means when you play it okay you can play from here when you play it for the first four seconds it will appear but after that it will not okay all right so you can adjust uh, whenever wherever you want it to appear okay but I I think I want to make it for the first two seconds for the first four seconds okay, okay like that so if you want to put another um, like maybe text okay you just click text here okay and you just put wherever text you want okay for example um, um, uh, I love flowers as you can see the text does not appear here okay so you can change the color to maybe a lighter one okay or maybe because it's too big I need to reduce it okay I have here I love flowers okay so you can choose uh, from text a panel here you can change whatever size you want maybe like 72 okay and you can change to whatever font you want Futura or impact or whatever it is I like Vimeo Pro okay and the paragraph you can choose where you want to align like left or center or right okay or justified okay um, and then uh, you can choose the color like what I said just now you can choose the color to whatever color you want I'm going to choose white okay so just like uh, the the uh, the picture just now the photo just now you can adjust it to your liking okay uh, so you can also adjust the phone from here okay. I love flowers <laughs> what a suck title okay in case you want this text to be on top of the photo or maybe you want it to be uh, slightly behind the photo you need to adjust the layer position okay you can put it down so that it won't appear it won't it will be behind the photo okay but I'm not going to do that okay so since that the color is almost the same, I can change it to uh, other color, okay, like blue. Okay. So as you see, the bar it will appear for the whole twenty seconds, okay. So you can adjust it <coughs> to whenever you want, okay. Whenever you want, okay. So as you can see. When you drag it to certain time, it might not appear. Okay, some appear, some not. 
So this is the purpose of timeline because you need to know who is going to appear first or who are going who is going not to who is not going to appear. Okay. Apart from um, photo and text, you can also insert videos. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to insert video. So um, I have a um, photo here. For example, I want to insert this photo, uh, this video, this video. Which whatever video you can put, okay. So whatever it is, it's hanging again. For example, I have this screen recording, okay? It's open. Okay. So after that, you just drag it to the timeline. Okay. So the, here is my screen recording. <laughs> this now. <laughs> I want it to be on top of flower. Okay. You can adjust also the size, everything. Okay. And it will play just like what you want it, how you want it. Okay. <laughs> But my screen recording sucks. I need to insert other things. Okay, that that is how you can put movies. You can put text. You can even put songs. Okay. For example, uh, whatever songs, whatever music, like um, sex songs. Okay. So you just put it into the timeline. Notice that I have inserted movies, but I deleted it from the timeline, so it will appear in the video, although it's in the project panel. Okay. So you just play it. Okay, no sounds, because <coughs> this computer needs to render it. So when you see the green panel here, the green bar here, it means that they are rendering. It's rendering. In the rendering process, so for you to play the whole thing, you need to play this. Oh God, I'm not coming for you. Oh God! Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 So that is it. That's it. Okay. So this is the basic of uh, After Effects for Mac. So uh, if you want to know more about this, I will teach more. But for timing, this is the basic of this thing. I will show you how to animate things. I will show you to do a lot of things like applying effects to all this shit. Okay. So thank you very much for listening and watching. Bye.